just started just like, what is that fucking noodle on my butt? I want to touch the noodle, ah! but it's getting yeah. away from me. Uh, where's... What is that? What is that? Ooh, ooh, epic art! Yo, what the hell? You're fighting Call of Duty Hellhounds? That was fucking amazing! <laughs> Fetch me their soul. Dude, that was like some Matrix level shit! When I got that on video. I... Yeah. <laughs> that's twice oh, that's... now that I've come... I, I, that's twice now I've escaped by killing these dogs without, like, escaping unscathed. That's twice in a row. I know, that's... That's actually something. I will admit, they, they had the dodging system done right. Oh, hello. Sit down, please. Said, sit. Can you stop swaying for five seconds? Didn't do any. Didn't do shit to me. I'm gonna do shit to you. Cinderella, where are you? I could just crap myself. Kaylin, I want to say this real quick. Mm-hmm. You really made my heart melt today. I know. I seem to be very good at that. I know. But what kind of fucking animation is that bullshit? <laughs> I didn't know you did that. Shimmy sladdle. <laughs> the dude the blood shack shimmy. Oh, okay. Second for you to me to place away. That'll give me a free inventory space. So, I've, I've been- uh, another thing I've been w wanting to do is I've been trying to catch up on some of the Resident Evil movies, and they are just as iconic as I remember. The, the first one was right. essentially about this group of teen- the, this team- uh, the Special Tactics and Rescue Service, or STARS, dealing with, um, an AI that went nuts known as the Red Queen. Well, apparently, it was because a sample of the T-Virus had actually leaked, and the Red Queen did not did not only did not want the contamination to spread, but she also did not want any like news of what happened getting out. So she she essentially trapped all the scientists in the in the uh, the nest or the lab where they made the virus, and in multiple different ways ended up killing the entire team so that there were no witnesses. Uh oh. And apparently, all the pe all the people who were supposedly infected were uh, were contained. They they were only released when there was an electromagnetic pulse that would deactivate the Red Queen, so that um, I forget the reason why they had to do it. It was probably <sighs> I only watched the movie recently. I don't know how I could forget that, but apparently, um, disabling the power that the Red Queen had over over the door locks disengaged the door locks that held the zombies in their containment, and you can probably guess where that led. Lots of bullets, lots of biting. Yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> and the chilling information received was only one scratcher bite, and before long you would turn into one of them. One of thus. <laughs> thus? What the fuck? I hate my speech. One of us. I mean, I heard it as one of us. Yeah, I said, for me, it said thus and all. Oh, your mic cut out with the thus, so I just heard one of us. <laughs> Alright. Well, I have a really bad canker sore. I believe it's from, like, my emotional stress or some shit. Oof. Yeah, you can get canker sores if you're stressed out a lot. I can only weird. imagine how much that would suck. Yeah, it's really fucked up. Isn't that like the- aren't those like the little white bumps that form on your gums and everything? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have gone through those. Imagine they the pain suck. when your bra- uh, when your braces end up pushing up against your gums and form canker sores that don't go away. For a while. Oh shit. Yeah. It yeah, was not it pleasant. 
after I actually went to a dentist once, I got a bunch of canker sores, and I, it, it was hard to eat. You know what I had to do? What? I had to do one of those um, food in a straw things. Oh. So you were just like the humans in Wally -E who had everything in a cup. I basically, yeah, basically. I actually, I, that was funny, because I actually tried that before, like, I blended a, I blended an actual burger and then put it in a cup. Out, 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 let me out! Okay, we're good. <laughs> out of my way, John! <laughs> Door stuck! Door stuck! Alright, Palehead. Let's see if yeah. you can handle explosive rounds. So I actually did blend a burger, and then I put water in a cup, and then I put the blended burger in it, and then I tasted it. It was pretty good, actually. Hmm. I mean, I could see how they would have to live their life like that. Hey, at least you'll ne at least you won't get thirsty and hungry at the same time. <laughs> yep. How are you still alive? Bro, just turned into that fiery SCP thing. Now you're dead. Memo. September 12th, Memo. admitted to N2, male 45, female 32, discarded, male 60, female 89. Admitted to N2, male 55, 19, female 51, discarded, female 76, returned, female 8, uninfected. Admitted to discarded, male specimen... September 12th, the day after So all of these must disaster. have been the people who were infected with the T-virus. Yeah. September 12th, the day after mere disaster. Yep. Although, I don't know if this... I mean, I think this still takes place in 1999, so... Thankfully not that particular day after a particular disaster. Oh, it's a safe room. Oh, it loops back around. Okay, good. Oh, uh, God. What? I swear to God, if it gets worse, I'm gonna have to, like, gargle salt water again. Oof. I think I had to do that before, and it's not a pleasant feeling. Yeah, I just, I just, like, w swish it in my mouth a little bit, and then I just spit it out. And then I start gagging for a little bit, and then it's good. <laughs> Risk of dehydration. But aren't I so glad that my teeth are straight enough that I don't need braces? I mean, I went through braces and they're not bad, but they're not pleasant either. Pull the lever, crunk. Ah, oh, fuck, okay. The game knew. I thought I could go that way. Gillis, you just jump off. <laughs> you can't go down that ladder that's right there? I can, but I think I might have... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Yeah, see? I'm smart. <laughs> Don't tell me that was all that was in here. That was all that was in here. Okay. Oh, wow. I thought that was uh, going to progress you to the next zone or something. <laughs> I still need to find two more fuses. They're around here somewhere. First okay. off, make sure they aren't blown. Don't worry. I think the game will uh, bless me with fuses at work. <laughs> of course. Just a funny joke. Yeah. Imagine if they actually were blown. It's like, oh, well, um, I'm shit out of luck. Oh, I haven't gone this way yet. I mean, I used to do light shows on my house every Christmas. Let me explain to you how many fuses were blown in the process of making this thing. Oh. <laughs> Come to Papa. Got shell. The last for faster reload speed. Yeah. 
Man, I love my mic cutting out from like the highest pitch or me laughing. <laughs> like, what the fuck? My mic can detect everything. I am seeing a bunch of fucking lies. Dude, what if I had a squeaky voice still? I, I'm just reminded of a video of a guy who was like showing off his highest note and somebody turned that into an overlap of somebody turning on night vision because it sounded like the high-pitched whine when you turn on night vision. <laughs> Dear child. I've kind of got a I've kind of got a plan on how I'm going <sighs> to work out some of these things I'm currently dealing with. First off, finish up uh re3. Secondly, catch up on the re movies. Oof, that's a I'm sorry, that almost sounded like you were saying catch up on the B-movies. <laughs> There's only one B-movie. Oh. You like this? Hey! Hello. Good to see you, my good kind sir. You too. Soon enough, I shall be able to defuse the situation. In 500 years. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm stupid. I never went this way yet. <laughs> I walked right past this door last time because I apparently have tunnel vision. Jeez, what took you so long to figure that out? Ah, gunpowder. You you're a little bit dingle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my stars! Uh, a dingy. Ow! Yeah, a mighty terrifying fucker. So, do a heresy. Where'd it go? I went to the back rooms. Okay, that's freaky. <laughs> After that on video and send it to me, I think I'm gonna do something funny with that. So I need to know, because I need to gauge opinions. What do you like to do with Mackenzie with red fur? I think it's cool. I think it uh, I think it'd be cute. I like it, but <laughs> as expressed via chili. I feel as though a darker shade would suit him far better. I was thinking about that, and it's like, well, yes, but also, like, the idea... I had this idea earlier today, and I don't remember what caused it, but, like, I just remember thinking, like, wait a minute, what if he, what if he was a red collie instead? And I thought about that for a while, and, like, that would look really, really cool, and then I got a specific scene in my head, and I'm like, that would be even cooler. And then I installed Pixar in the hopes that it would have a recoloring or a paint bucket tool. It doesn't. Well, it does, but you need to pay it. Tragic. <laughs> And then, Adobe Lightroom was the same shit, because it's corporate garbage. And then, when I got home, I used GIMP, which actually worked, because it's, again, the open source software is always better, and that's just the way it is. Um, and I came up with that, <laughs> like, and then at first, the color I got at first was really weird, but I adjusted it to this, and it looks more of like what I was seeing in my head when I thought of this. Mm. And did it work out? I say it did. Oh yeah, I think he'd look nice with red fur. It would be a very interesting change too. In in Francine's case, she would officially say that she now has a mini me. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, I think that's what prompted the idea. I was like, what if he instead? Wants to wants to be red because he doesn't want people to think of his dad when they think of him, and he doesn't want people to call him a cookie anymore. So he decides that he should be oh, red. Oh wow! Then... These guys are high level. Um, I should not be here. Run away. <laughs> Sorry. So that so the notebook and him dyeing his fur color are two very interesting ideas. Yes, the notebook. I'm I'm, I'm thinking about how to implement that. I I know that it just needs to be a thread or a channel somewhere, but like, how do I? Is it, does it just 
appear, or like, is there some, like, how does he get it? That's that's my question. Or... Um, Hammerborn. Could be. He probably. I mean, if, hmm. If he sees a store that has like. That has like a promotion or a sale for all things space themed. He probably gets like a little notebook with stars and moons on it. Yes, I like that idea. I also had the idea that like Bo has an extra one, and she's like, "Here, use this one." Something in it, and then was like, "I actually have no idea what I want to put in this," and then decided she was gonna just give it to someone else. It was going wild in the oh. background, and then you just hear Rush E. Perfectly <laughs> played. Just everyone wagging their tail, and then Timber's the only one just playing a note, and I was like, wait, what the hell is that song? I'm not sure. <laughs> like that how. Did. Megalovania. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, is that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's fucking perfect. If Bo heard Megalovania, it would give her PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> she had so that much trouble with that boss fight. Anyone else want to mess with the likes of me? I got a shotgun and a grenade launcher. What do I hear growling? Shotgun and a grenade launcher? Wow. To be honest with you, like, I was actually just playing Sea of Thieves, and then for some oh, reason there was there was no enemy ships nearby as usual, and then I just heard boss music, and I'm all, why do I hear boss music? I love running around and fucking, um, near Automata. The Piano music in the background is so soothing. Despite Actually, the fact that you're committing countless uh, counts of genocide. I have a feeling that Golden Hour really hits me, like, with the, um, with the feeling of uplifting spirit. Like, it's something that hits deep in the heart. And it just makes me... You shine. Seriously, it's give me that fuse, baby. Go it's such a good song. I love it. I it just I mean, makes me want to sing. <laughs> dude, it, it, that song literally makes me ascend. Like at one point, I would just. The only like thing to... that would make this worse is if I had to deal with. I would just love to see that's Tinder worse. play that song. That's so much worse. Honestly. <laughs> I love Loy in the background. The only thing that would make this worse is if I had to deal with... It's so much worse. It's so much worse. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's not so much worse anymore. <laughs> the saga continues. <laughs> just, ju just do a selfie like that guy with the gravestone. Wait, what? It you know could the be a second meme of the guy that. taking a selfie in front of a gravestone? Why? And he's like doing the piece. It's oh like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm just imagining now, like do that. <laughs> Windy in front of Walter's grave. <laughs> <laughs> really want an episode. Oh, wait. Oh, that... Oh, I'm sorry, Kim. I mean, can I just say something real quick so I don't yes. forget? Alright. Just that, but instead, Timber doing that with Timber's collar as the grave. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> just in a million pieces under the ground, Timber's doing the selfie. What were you going to say, Finn? Uh, yeah. I was going to say, um, so, okay, so we already got an episode focused on Mackenzie, and it was space, and it was really, really good. One of the best episodes of television of all time, if you ask me, because of the way everything was handled. Like, it was just perfect, and it, it didn't even have to be explained explicitly what his problem was, but because it, it, it was open to interpretation as it's like the whole show, but, like, you could, you could tell what it was, and a, a, a couple of people said a couple different things on what they thought it meant, and that was which just makes it even better because they're all valid. Like, you can't say that that one's wrong. Like, they're all valid, and the fact that everybody came to, like, different conclusions is the best part of it. So, 
I really want an episode focused on Honey and her family, or something like that, because I think that that would be, she's a very underused character, a great character, but very underused, and I feel like there's a lot of her personality to explore that she just hasn't. Oh, oh yeah, definitely, because like, she's very open-minded and, and considerate. Yeah, but also kind of like reserved at the same time. Yeah. Sometimes. She wasn't very reserved in the spy game. Yeah. I mean, I'm at least glad that we were able to to get a lot more a lot more of um Indian Coco's personality in Wild Girls. Yeah. I, lo I love Indy's little dance. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know, if you told me eight months ago that I was going to be, that, hey, you know that Blue Dog show? I've briefly seen it on Disney Junior. Why? Well, in eight months, look, and they show me all of this, I'd be like, dude, you are insane. And then, <laughs> lo and behold. Right? <laughs> My mom called me weird for watching Louie yesterday. <laughs> well, I, honestly, if it were me, I'd tell her, you know, you really can't call me weird if you haven't seen it yourself. That's basically what I told her. I said, it's a good show. It's like for everyone. It's really sweet. Like, it's got stuff everyone can, Ow. like, relate to. And even my cousin was like, yeah, it's kind of good. And my cousin is also a freaking horror freak, so, you know. Really, I laugh at horror movies. Like, it's, like, it's so, it's all predictable. Like, I can always predict what's gonna happen. Oh wait, how much money do I have for them game? Oh, I only have $2,000. Cool. I bought this game for like $40, actually. Someone in this other server earlier was like, Oops, I overdrafted my account. Oh well. And I'm like, dude. You're gonna pay out the ass I'm for sorry. that. I'm like, sorry. They can just oh well over drafting. That's impressive, honestly. Yeah, I hope they can supplement that and they don't get further and further and further into it and then they can never come above zero and then their credit's ruined for like the rest of their life and they're probably like 17. Alright, where are you at, Nickel Ice Cream? Something that happens. Oh, shit. I'll be right back. Alright. What is he doing in here? Yeah, let's see it. Ooh, a spear. I don't want it, though. Let's see. 1300, infiltrated Raccoon City. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. Observe five RPD officers engaging a pack 20 strong, and officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Uh, 9.7, 1200 hours. Test run at university. Diverted pack, including canines to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. 2300 hours. Successful rendezvous with uh, MV Platoon. We'll make first attempt at dawn. Uh, 4.30, diverted pack towards command post. Result, night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. End of skirmish, seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it for orders, it appears to be on the hunt. Uh, 20 hundred hours. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N investigating. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons is seen to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be printed. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine has been infected and is non responsive, collected samples for orders. Over 17 hours has elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to the virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill Valentine by Chris, or Carlos, I forgot his last name, a soldier in MV Platoon. Jill Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with Jill Valentine caused it to change and evolve. Will induce further in- Oh no. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. So this guy is basically just utilizing Nemesis at this point. Okay, I'm back and I got food. Food? I got some bad news, Timber. What? This guy has been observing everything Jill has been doing, 
and apparently he's going to be trying to induce fights against Semesis in order to see if it can further evolve. I got through. Oh shit. I'm sorry, Nemesis can uh, write? No, no. I, no, uh, fucking Nikolai wasn't dead. We can deliver the vaccine to them. Yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. Before they launch. I, 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 hours. I really, I really don't know what to say right now. Either he faked his death or he's one lucky son of a bitch. And possibly has one. horseshoe up his ass. One push of this button, and I will send that rocket straight into the same volcano where I faked my death. We'll the vaccine up ahead. Only this time, it's for real. <laughs> Why does right. every vaccine center have to be so white and pharmaceutical? Old commercial watching time. Sure, you don't need to wow, stop? it's almost as if stop and do vaccines what? are made. I got your back. By pharmacy. <laughs> Let's get this done. So early Crazy today. idea, I know, but like... <laughs> maybe it's because the pharmaceutical companies if do you, it. If you turn zombified, oh. buddy, I will not hesitate to shoot you. I will, I will put you out of your misery. Completely understandable. I wouldn't let me suffer like that. Oh wait, you're not talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, were, were you saying something, Finn? Not really, no. No. What are we waiting for? Oh, I just had to walk up to the door. Oh, Finn's gone. <gasps> oh, oh. Tyrell! Mono blue, he took the milk. Should have known you were still alive. Those notes only confirmed it. My goddamn, that Milky Way commercial was so. Chef's kiss. I do! Oh, now you're definitely gonna fucking pay. Watch out, a twin plane is a boss and nova. That's why he said something. Man. There's I no Jojo gang that. to this patch here. Are you serious, right? Honestly, this totally looks like something that would come right out of Dark Deception. I agree. Nest 2 employee regulations. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met by severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Hey.
know what's funny? Hmm. Soon, I'm about to do a play that me and a couple of friends made up that is basically a parody of a parody. Cool. And why don't you guess what that parody is? I have no idea. Spaceballs. Oh. We're making it even more dumber, like purposely dumber and hilarious. Besides, I love spaceballs. Ooh. Isaac Graves' Diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good, most importantly, they promised me I'd be con contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university s teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family, and we agreed to agree to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is twenty twenty because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric research experiments for the sole pur purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle our company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him! I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told. For their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Bit late for morals now, buddy. <laughs> Someone called me a poopy head. Why? Funny. Huh. <laughs> That's funny, because like one time I was helping customize a server and they actually, of course, want to have a vent channel. So I did that. And then the first thing I said there is like, Someone called me a poopy head and now I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> Key, huh? Interesting.
I thought there was something else here. Essay on vaccine synthesis. On the roles of antigens and, uh, and adjuvants in vaccine synthesis. To most effectively synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effect of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By possessing, uh, processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than a thousand times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Interesting. Sounds like a sounds like a dream vaccine. And yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and say there's nothing else here for me to collect because I cannot see anything else. Butterfly in my ass. There's a butterfly in my ass. I get the feeling you guys are going to be getting up later. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Override complete. Can I tell you something that's actually really interesting? Hmm. So you know that you know that one scene um how Jim Carrey Grinch eats uh, a bottle, like a glass bottle. Yeah. You know what that's actually made of? What? Ice. It's uh, not glass. It's ice. Oh. They made it look like glass. I thought that was interesting. Oh, and a little thing called prop glass exists as well. <clears throat> well, that's cool. It's basically glass that breaks and you cannot get hurt. It's used in movies or show sh or st show stages. Hmm. I'm so. Yeah. Gotta, dude, you gotta stop beating yourself up over one little slip up. It's not that big a deal. Weaponry authorization request. I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger that our bioweapon products, as our bio, uh, as our bioweapon products. But I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not been yet determined. Or not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. 
If any sort of fail system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the Paleheads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. That definitely sounds very promising. Ghostbusters! Huh. An antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Okay, once again, I will be right back. Done and dealt with. Ah. Okay, I'm back. And I think I'll play some Save Thieves for a bit. You start to realize what they mean when these paleheads take eight shotgun uh, shotgun shells to actually die. <laughs> oh yeah, I got four back. <laughs> Duck season. Oh, that was two back. Explosive A. I don't have anything to combine that with. And I've already asked this, but I'm gonna ask this again. How are you? I'll save that for later when there actually is something to combine it with. Is my mic working? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> dead guy. He was too dead. drunk. Scientist dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture most mass quantities of the vaccine. I prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are so stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls. But I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. <clears throat> well, at least wow, some people here were aware of how fucked up it was. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm drunk and I just woke up from the table. And I always wake up drunk. That's the thing. Hello there, acid rounds. Let's see, what do we got? What are you giving me? 
Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. I already, I already got a bunch of shit from you anyway. Now I just need to customize my ship. This must be what powers it. Down. There we go. Let's now let's go to. Spray. Let's go to what we came here for. Let's go on a. Let's go on an adventure. Oh wait, wait. Shit. Where are you taking me, basically? You want me to go there? Is that what I'm getting at? Okay, yeah. It, so the compass is leading me to that exact area. Jesus, is this where they're made? <clears throat> All right, uh, uh, you need to go that way. Stop shaking I'm around, alive. and maybe I'll. They're okay, still let's alive look. in there. Let's go lower the sail and be on my very way. If I'm correct, we should be facing the exact area of where we need to go in three, two, one, mark. Okay, if my calculations are correct. We are facing the exact right point. Uh, arrow facing up to silver arrow on top. Okay, my calculations are misread. We are going to take a little small left. What are you doing? On my mark. Playing Sea of Thieves. Oh, 